Hi dear children good morning in our last class we are discussing the topic magic squares in this class we are discussing another type of problems take your max test page number 51 cloth exhibition students look at this picture what is this yes this is a textile shop okay you can see some women are purchasing some clothes have you ever going to a textile shop yes for what yes for purchasing cloth items look here here is a price list provided for three types of cloth materials salwar kameez churidar and sari okay look for salwar kameez the price may be vary from 1340 1280 and rupees 1400 for churidar there is three types of rating one is 1525 next is 1600 and next is 1575 for saree also there is three types of price first one is 1775 Next is one thousand nine hundred and seventy-five, and last one is one thousand eight hundred and sixty. Look at the first question here. Suleika had three thousand five hundred rupees, Anju three thousand two hundred rupees, and Lisi three thousand three hundred and fifty rupees. Each spent the entire amount to buy two dresses. What could this be? Suleika, Anju, and Lisi wanted to buy. two types of dresses each okay and also wanted to spend the entire amount with them okay suleika so had 3500 rupees anju had 3200 rupees lisi had 3350 rupees can you understand this question each of them want to buy two dresses and also they want to spend the entire amount കൈവശമുള്ള മുഴുവൻ രൂപയും നൽകി അവർ ഓരോരുത്തരും രണ്ട് വീതം തുണിത്തരങ്ങൾ വാങ്ങി ഏതൊക്കെയാകും ആ തുണിത്തരങ്ങൾ എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടത് സുലേഖ ഹാഡ് ത്രീ തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് റുപ്പീസ് ഇൻ ഹെർ ഹാൻഡ് ഷീ ഹാഡ് ടു ബൈ എനി ടു ക്ലോത്ത് ഐറ്റം ഫ്രം ദിസ് വിച്ച് ആർ ദ ക്ലോത്ത് ഐറ്റംസ് ഹൗ വിൽ വി ഫൈൻഡ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് Take any two numbers from the above price list. But the sum must be 3,500. Can you say? Which are the items? The sum of the prices be 3,500. Take any two prices and add. Then which of them we get the answer 3,500. That items be purchased by Sulekha. Okay, I will help you. Sulega bought a churidar for 1,525 rupees and a sari for 1,975 rupees. Okay, tell me what is the sum? 1,525 plus 1,975. Yes, that is 3,500. So, that items was purchased by... Sulega churidar for 1525 and sari for 1975 next one is anju how much amount did anju have yes 3200 we want to find the two cloth items with the amount 3200 okay i will tell you anju bought a salwar kameez for 1340 rupees and a sari for 1860 rupees what is the sum yes that is 3200 okay next one is lissy how much amount did lissy have 3350 rupees which are the items bought by lissy yes a churidar for 1575 rupees and a sari for 1775 rupees then the sum must be 3350 rupees okay what is the next question 
what is the minimum amount needed to buy one dress of each kind here we need to find the minimum amount for both one dress of each kind how can we find the minimum amount note the point minimum amount how can we get the minimum amount yes we get the minimum amount by adding the cheapest rate that means the lowest rate of each one okay by adding the lowest rate of each one we get the minimum amount for buy one dress of each kind what is the lowest rate for salwar kameez yes 1280 rupees which is the cheapest rate of churidar yes 1525 sari is 1775 rupees at these three prices we get the minimum amount that means uh, 1280 plus 1525 plus 1775 what is the answer add these three numbers yes our answer is 4580 rupees okay let us go to the next problem look at this picture what can you see here yes this is a shop a home appliances shop some stoves are there some mixers some iron box some fans etc are seen there then the price of mixer pressure cooker torch gas stove iron box fan are listed in this shop here sarang has 8000 rupees with him sarang spent all he had to buy three things what could this be how much amount sarang has yes 8000 rupees he spent he want to spend all amount all the entire 8000 amount and want to buy three items which are the three items how can we find this question is also like the previous question how can we find yes uh, select three items and add the price is it become 8000 that items was purchased by sir okay let us look uh, when we assume the first group is a mixer grind a mixer with 3450 rupees a pressure cooker worth 3755 rupees and a torch for worth 1305 rupees okay now let us calculate the total amount how can we find the total amount yes by adding these three prices add these prices what is the total amount now the total amount is 8510 rupees is this is the group, uh, items purchased by sarang no no chance for that because sarang has only 8000 rupees if he buy three these three items the amount become 8510 so our assumption is wrong okay let us assume the next thing next group is pressure cooker torch and gas stove pressure cooker worth 3755 rupees torch worth 1305 rupees and the gas stove worth 3245 what is the total amount let us add these m3 amounts what is the answer when we add these three prices the total amount is 8305 this is also a wrong assumption why yes now the total become 8305 sarang bought only for 8000 rupees okay let us assume the next group if he buys a mixer grinder with 3450 rupees and a torch worth 1305 rupees and a gas stove worth 3200 45 rupees 
Then what is the total amount become? Calculate. Yes, now the total amount is 8000. That means the item bought by Sarang is mixer, gain, mixer torch and gas stove. After complete this question, let us go to the next activity. Find the sum of the consecutive numbers from 1 to 10. Here the question is find the sum of the consecutive numbers from 1 to 10. Here we want to find the sum of these numbers. That means these are the consecutive numbers from 1 to 10. Okay. In order to find all the sum, first you just add 1 and 10. What is the answer? 1 plus 10 equal to 11. 1 and 10. Then pair the second term and the second last term. That means 2 and 9. What is the answer? 2 plus 9. Yes, 2 plus 9 is also equal to 11. Next we add 3 and 8. What is the sum? Yes, it's also 11. Can you say what is the next pair? Yes, 4 and 8. Sorry, 4 and 7. What is the answer? 4 plus 7 is also equal to 11. The next pair is 5 and 6. 5 plus 6. What is the answer? It's also equal to 11. When we add these numbers, we get the sum of the first 10 Consecutive numbers. That means 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is 55. That means sum of the first 10 consecutive numbers is 55. Listen here. There is a shortcut also. Listen. First, you find the sum of first and last number. Now I will tell you the shortcut for finding this sum. First step is find the sum of first and last number. What is the sum? 1 plus 10 that's equal to 11. Okay dears tell me how many numbers here from 1 to 10? How many numbers? Yes, here uh, 10 numbers. Just half it. Yes, half of 10 is 5. F uh, find the numbers that is 10. Half it, half of 10 is 5. Then multiply that 5 with this sum. What is the answer? 11 into 5 is equal to? 55. This is a shortcut. What is the shortcut here? First you add the first term and last term. We get here the answer is 11. Then count the how many numbers are here. Here we can see 10 numbers. Just take the half of that number. Half of 10 is 5. Then multiply that 5 with the sum. 5 into 11 is equal to 55. Now we find the sum of the consecutive numbers from 1 to 10. What is the second question here? What about the sum of the consecutive numbers from 11 to 10? How did you find it? Here we want to find the sum of the consecutive numbers from 11 to 20. That means we want to find the sum of these numbers. Now, we learn a shortcut for find the sum of the consecutive numbers. What is the shortcut? Yes, first you add the first term and last term. Okay, then multiply that answer with half of these numbers. Okay, first you add first term and last term. Here the first term is 11 and last term is 20. So, add these numbers. Now we get the sum as 
thirty one. Okay, how many numbers are here from eleven to twenty? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here also ten numbers. What is the half of that number? Yes, five. Then multiply five with this sum. Now we want to find the answer thirty one into five. What is the answer here? One hundred and fifty five. Here we get the answer one hundred and fifty five. That means the sum of the consecutive numbers from eleven to twenty is one hundred and fifty five. What is the third question? What is the sum of ten consecutive numbers from forty one? Look here. These are the ten consecutive numbers from forty one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We want to find the sum of these ten consecutive numbers. Now we know how to calculate the sum of consecutive numbers in a shortcut method. How? Yes, first you add the first and the last number. That means now we add forty-one plus fifty. What is the answer? Forty-one plus fifty equal to ninety-one. Here, how many numbers are here? Here also ten numbers. Half of ten is five. So multiply ninety-one into five. What is the answer? Ninety-one into five. Five into one, five. Nine into five, forty-five. So the answer is four hundred and fifty-five. That means sum of the consecutive ten consecutive numbers from forty-one is four hundred and fifty-five. Now we find the sum of These three consecutive numbers. That means one to ten, we get the answer fifty-five. Eleven to twenty, we get the answer one hundred and fifty-five. Forty-one to fifty, the ten consecutive number, we get the answer four hundred and fifty-five. Look here. Can you see any similarity in these answers? Yes. All of these numbers are end with the fifty-five. That means. The last two digits is fifty five five and five in all these answers. Then what about hundreds place here? No hundreds place, so not bothered about it. Here, the hundreds place. The what is the digit in hundreds place? Yes, one. Here, all the numbers are starting with the one except twenty. So. The number comes in hundred place is also one. Here, which is the number comes in tens place? Yes, four. So in answer, the number comes in hundred place is also four. Say, what is the sum of ten consecutive numbers from twenty one to thirty? Last two digit is five and five. That means fifty five. What about first number? Yes, first number is two. That means two hundred and fifty-five. What about these? Last number is fifty-five. What about the first number? What is the first number here? Three. So here also three three hundred and fifty-five.